us to the 11th episode in a series of episodes that are focused on the 2020 GCE Science Paper 2. So this is the final episode in this series. Remember we started with episode 1 which focused on section A of this paper. So let us look at question E, C3 which is the final question in this episode. The table below shows information on some substances. So we have a substance, then column 2, conduct electricity when in solid state, then column 3, melting point, then column 4, dissolves in water. So we have aluminium, sodium chloride, sulfur, tungsten, and the wax. Use the information in the table to answer the following questions. Question A, Loma numeral 1, name two metals and give a reason for your answer. So if you look at this, what will tell us whether a substance is a metal or not is whether that substance conducts electricity or not. Number two, whether it has a high melting point or not. Then number three, whether it dissolves in water or not. So if you look at aluminium, aluminium does conduct electricity and the melting point is high then it does not dissolve in water so this is a metal sodium chloride it does not conduct electricity so this is not a metal sulfur no it's a non-metal tungsten yes it conducts electricity it has a high melting point it does not dissolve in water also so this is also a metal so what are the metals let me just create space so this is a Lomani numero 1. We have aluminium. Then we also have tungsten. So these are um, the metals. So like I said, why are they metals? This is because these two substances conduct electricity in their solid state and also have high melting points like the case for metals. So once you do this, you are good to go. Loma number two, identify a mixture and justify your answer. So the first question that we need to ask ourselves is what is a mixture? So a mixture is a combination of two or more substances in which the constituents do not lose their identity. So they maintain their properties. So because these substances that makes up one substance they come with unique properties they are going to form a substance that is going to have the properties of different substances and a substance which is a mixture will not have a single or an exact melting point so if you look at this one you notice that wax is the only one that has the range of melting point from 35 to 50 if it was a pure substance it was going to have just an exact melting point so in case you come across the question that will ask you distinguish between a pure substance and a mixture so the distinguishing feature is the fact that mixture have got a range of melting points while a pure substance will have a sharp or an exact melting point so we know that Loma numero 2, this is wax. Lizonium, it does not have an exact melting point as the case with mixtures so mixtures have um, a range of um, melting points instead of um, an exact 
So exactly applies for pure substances. So question B, write a chemical formula of a substance that is a compound. So if you check here, we only have one which is a compound which is sodium chloride. So I can use this space for beam. So sodium, see this one, then chloride. So this is the formula for the compound. Question C, describe how the movement and arrangement of particles in aluminium change as the temperature rises from 659 degrees Celsius to 661 degrees Celsius. So the first thing that we need to, to do is get the question. So the question is to describe how the movement and the arrangement of particles. Then question C, describe how the movement and arrangement of particles in aluminium change as the temperature rises from 659 degrees Celsius to 660 degrees Celsius. So we need to describe the movement of particles and arrangement as the temperature increases from 659 degrees Celsius to 661 degrees Celsius. So when you look at it, the melting point is 660. So we have 660 here, then we have 661, then we have 659 degrees Celsius. So at this point we have the melting point. So this one is liquid, this one is solid. So the change is from solid to liquid state. So let us start with the movement. So this is seen. So in terms of the movement, prior to melting, the particles could only vibrate because they are tightly packed. So they could only vibrate and they could not move freely. So now after changing to the liquid state, the particles now could move about, but they would retain the shape of the container and the volume. So now the particles would move about within the liquid but they are packed densely enough to maintain the volume. Then in terms of arrangement, so now they become loosely packed. So what will be the shape? So the shape will be, they could be this, loosely packed without a proper pattern. So this will be the shape they are going to take from the shape under solid, they will have a proper pattern under solid. They have these proper patterns. That's it. Remember these are like that. So this will be, but they will move to this one which is loosely packed and they will take the shape of the container. So once you do this, you are good to go. Remember, you are describing the movement and arrangement. So this is arrangement, then this is the movement. Then question D, identify the substance with the strongest bonds and give a reason for your answer. So the strongest bond is among ionic bond. So ionic bonds are the one that have got typically the stronger bond compared to uh, the other bonds. So the second is covalent bonds which happens between metals and non metal. So this is the second the strongest bond. Then the last one is in metallic bond. Why are ionic bonds the strongest? So what you notice is the reason why ionic bonds are stronger than the covalent and metallic bond is because they occur between metals and nanometers by an electrostatic force of attraction. So a metal loses electrons. 
so it will have a net positive charge. Then a nonmetal gains electrons, so it will have a net negative charge. So negative and positive will attract each other, then they form that strong bond. So hence, what you notice is the substance within the strongest bond is sodium chloride. So D, I can just see light here, which is sodium chloride, is the answer. So once you answer this one, you are good to go. Maybe just to make it clear, I can light here. So this is sodium chloride. Reasoning due to electron static force of force of attraction between negative charged non metals and positively charged metals after losing and gaining electrons respectively so a non-metal gains electrons, then a metal loses electrons. So it's that opposite charge that makes them to be strong. So once you do this, you are good to go. And you are ready to get these 10 marks, which will help you to move towards getting that distinction. So thank you for joining me in this series of episodes where we've looked at this paper extensively. So check out for more videos on our YouTube channel. We shall soon be posting the 2019 papers just to help you prepare for your exam extensively. Thank you once more.